April 18, 2008 marks the start of the inaugural edition of the Indian Premier League. It's been 15 years since that first match between Kolkata Knight Riders and Royal Challengers Bangalore at the Chinnaswamy Stadium. New Zealander Brendan McCallum played an absolute blinder, scoring 158 not out to set the tone for IPL. Former Bengal op spinner Sauras Lairi, who among the initial KKR squad, talks about his experience of sharing the dressing room with the likes of Ricky Ponting, Shoei Bakhtar, David Hussey and others. The op spinner recollects the first time he met Shoei at the Eden Gardens Nets. It was a great experience for all of us because when we came to know first time about it, we were a little, we little unsure that what kind of a tournament it's going to be. The auctions, we, we never heard of cricketers being auctioned you know, or, or in an in auction room or something like that. Quite unheard of but then we started we slowly started to know that there will be a catchment area and we will be considered in the catchment area players so we won't be put up in the auctions there will be an icon player to each and every franchisee so in fact when i when we when the first time this thing burst out it was absolutely no no one was uh, very aware of it what kind of a tournament it's going to be so but uh, as you know ki once once everything has been said and done and once IPL started rolling and since where IPL is at the moment is probably one of the hottest property any boat can have even any, any boat can think of is unbelievable for the game of cricket it was a fantastic and a great experience for all of us because once we had a little sell down about the IPL once we first heard about it and then slowly slowly we came to know how we are going to play a role in that IPL then we came to know that we will be considered the catchment area players because every franchise has got a the board has already designated a catchment area for them and you have to pick at least five to six players from that catchment area to be to keep in the side. So and uh, that time the I mean already KKR people who are managing the KKR were, were there in the KKR management they have started contacting us. Ki, you know they going to con they were going to sign us for three years and stuff like that. That's how we came into the KKR scene, myself, as you said, myself, Rohan, Lakshmi, Riddhiman, Dinda. Manoj went, to, went through auction actually. Manoj, that year Manoj went through auction and he went to Delhi. But my, my first experience with Shah Rukh Khan was actually quite, quite thrilling. We were at, at ITC Shonar, there was a launching program where, where KKR has been launched for the first time. I still remember the, I, I remember the day, I, exactly not the date, but I remember the day very, uh, very clearly in my mind. We went to the hotel, myself and Lakshmi went together and we were received quite, uh, quite warmly by the hotel people. Then we took us to the boardroom and we were sitting absolutely in front of the row and uh, there were a lot of glitz, glamour, everything was happening there and then uh, I think uh, then after a few, uh, there were a lot of, lot of people were there and after, after, after a few, uh, after almost half an hour, uh, lights were shut down and you know from back door, Shah Rukh Khan came to the stage. That's the first time I saw, I mean that's a, that was the first time I saw Shah Rukh Khan live. So it was quite an experience for me. So uh, I was just uh, like you know, 10 feet away from me, I was watching Shah Rukh Khan, it was a fantastic experience. And of course, Dada, Dadi was there, John Buchanan was there, Juhi Chawla, Jay Mehta, all of them were there. So, that, that, that is the first time I saw him live. Then, uh, after, after, after a while, uh, we have been called individually to the stage and we have been introduced with the media. That we have been because we were the first players that have been signed by KK. At that time, auction didn't. I mean, auction didn't happen before auction. This thing happened. So that's that's how we have been introduced. We shaked hand with them. We we took we took pictures, and it was a fantastic moment for all of us. I remember I was facing Shoaib Akhtar at the net. First time I took guard, and I and I saw Shoaib, you know, into some of his mark, and that run up was so long. I was just thinking, ki, how I'm going to concentrate that man? He's going to run that all the way from the, the, the huge run-up that he has, and after that he's Shoaib Akhtar. He's going to the fastest bowler in the world. How is going to bowl me at the net? But I was very lucky that the first thing that what he did, he, he measured his run-up. Then what he did, he just shortened his run-up and two three steps. He started just rolling his arm to warm him, warm himself. I was lucky that I couldn't face that heat that day. I remember we were playing one of the practice games at Eden Gardens 
and uh, that time and in that game brendan mccallum was fielding on the boundary line so someone hit a ball and he dropped a catch and that time in the in the cricket i mean cricket fraternity there was a word going on which is still on the butterfinger you know the english used to use that word quite often that butterfinger when you drop a catch they used to use that word butterfinger so i just jokingly said to brandon mccallum that uh, you got butterfingers he was quite angry actually he was he was staring at us and i was just jokingly said i remember of course sharing a dressing room with ricky ponting was a great experience because i have seen him i have seen him train in the practice which is quite unique we used to have a practice session of 2 and a half hours 3 hours i hardly seen him you know sit for a while he was busy he was, he was not only batting he was he was stacking catches he was playing in the bowling machine he was running around he was he was inspiring the youngsters it was a great I mean, a great learning experience for all the youngsters like us that how you train and from in fact to be honest that from from him i have learned ki you, you are not supposed to waste not even a single second during the practice because when a when a guy like ricky ponting who has been a world beater is trained like that and we were we were learners we were just growing up that time so we need to know how this guys how this champion trains so it was a great experience for all of us ipl has got a huge impact in a, in a player's life in terms of in terms of exposure in in terms of uh, economical stability in uh, financial stability everywhere ipl helped a lot and ipl gave the players i mean lesser known players the platform to make a name for themselves